Mano, perdi. Tá fazendo então lá na frente. Cuidar, pau. Ô oh, raiva. Apertei o C aqui, ó. Pau. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. Not I must. Who on this ground? And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. I'm a big cut that. timber and some That's tools. What? No, wait, the, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary. And you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. Don't go so slow. This is dangerous country. 
But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Can we increase the speed? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, I'm putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. Oh. I got my gun at the I ready. De novo. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Que não tem checkpoint, não tem nada de, de save, não. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. They won't be free. They won't even be cheap. But they'll be worth what you pay. I've already bought a house and hired you today. So might as well keep spinning while I'm at it. You won't regret it. I hope not. You can always earn more money. But good tools will last you a lifetime. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Okay. Okay. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? <laughs> Took a look at it myself, and Neither. it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. We're Everyone find some cover! Falo nada, né, velho? Tudo bem. 
텐데 O cara tava correndo. Now, Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That's the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. F All right. Now, Paul knows who. Jesus. You gotta move fast. Come on. Eu brinca de apertar C desse tem trava de novo. Na outra era cada tipo de salvo. Deu pau.
Não deu trash. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. Me and poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Morning, brother. One one call. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. She get on with this. Hammer and a nail, now nail it. Well, we worked so hard. 
start to build a little house together. Ah, ué, a casa fica até grande. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, we're together. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, now nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow, or the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter any weather, we're together. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Nem faz ideia de onde que a mulher dele tá. Passado uns seis meses já. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Vamos ver. Casa de tela, mano. 
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Como é que ficou a casa, né? Menininha, né, pai? Hã? Ah? Achei que tá imobiliada, mas tá não, tá. Okay, Missy. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, <laughs> and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again. <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And Caralho, mano. It'd be nice if you didn't run off on me again. Anyway, what were you talking about? Oh, and that's you, is it? And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? 
We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple a already cut in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and... I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, well my uncle, food. nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. salesman was up there on the property find the rancher but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around now Ramon Cortez is around those parts split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth hold your horse there ah. Não tem um cavalo, não. Mano, não vai dar pra onde eu copiar o pai, não. Ei, mulher. Lota. Você ia dizer algo. Tem que ser ele. Ele está esperando ele. E nós vamos chegar a ele primeiro. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it 
It's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. Nossa senhora. Uncle. demais. Barked the odd order at us. It's solid. Real good and sturdy. This is painted sky up here. Wait for me. Não aguenta, hein? Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Mr. Chef Arm, I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Think so. It sounds so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. A meu tava branca, agora tá preto. Come on. I'll give you $100 to kill that bitch. 200. 300 for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs>
Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Tell them. jail apart he's gone he's gone uh, well we brought him in now pay us what's owed he ain't here now madam i don't get paid unless he makes it to saint denis you want to get shot today as well as rob mister are you threatening me why would we bother threatening you get him back and i'll get your money and another fifty dollars besides a hundred dollars 75 i can't go higher Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. Oh, no. Then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Get back on your horse, You're a John. good filly. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. 
There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. What the fuck? Joe, get down here! I'm coming!
down doors. Yeah, man. Entendi, mire. Eu turco. Mano, no. Não. Será no braço dele, velho? Olha lá, da onde que volta. Eu nem tô com a minha 12. Também pra cacete o bagulho. Tá quebrando o bar. Right, right, amigo. Coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your goddamn mouth! Eh. Bala, Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. We can get out of here before the buzzards show up. Let's get out of here. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And 
you are a dead man. The Delovos will not forgive this. saying uh, wherever you hide we will find you and we will kill you you and anyone who is close to you Conta não, tadinho, de acompanhar. So what were you talking about before? Problema. Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you were just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course. Because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't... Hello? Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. All right, all right. This has nothing to do with me. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go... I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, uh, boys. Bye -bye. See you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Thank <laughs> you. 